Yo, hello everyone. If you are looking to combine the power of WordPress and Moodle for your online learning platform, this tutorial is for you. We will walk you through the process of integrating WordPress with Moodle. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing guys, I will need you to have your WordPress dashboard open. And then I will need to have Moodle account logged in. You can create it very easily if you don't have one. And then, of course, you will have to create an account on this platform, which is called Zapier. Now, what we are going to basically do is to create a Zap. A Zap, what it means on this platform is it is a combination or automation which will make two kind of different platforms connected with each other. For example, we can see here some example as Wise Wix and this application. We have here so many applications that are so many different like Notion, Outlook, Notion GitHub, uh, Wix here. So there's so many applications on this platform. You can check it by yourself. For example, if I read here A, I will have a bunch of options. I for B, bunch of options, C, uh, D, it is unlimited. So in our case, we are going to connect Modo with our WordPress website. In case you wanted to know if it exists a plugin that actually will combine them, you click here on add new and search for the plugin which is Modo. So Modo you will not actually find anything like that well what you can do is actually download an api integration and search if you do have kind of uh, an api key on your account so let me just log in real quick uh the account is been the email for confirmation okay i will confirm my account and be right back so here i am and you can just go to your account try to go through the settings preferences etc and check if you have any api key as i can see here there is none like that but you guys can actually find yours just by searching on the website we can actually go ahead and search for api key on moodle and how to write a model api key here it is and here we go so first of all enable web services so go log into your model and click on site administration and here we go we have to go here and then go to plugins as you can see from plugins go ahead and scroll down to web services then click on overview and from here you can enable this web services that's with yes here as you can see follow these minus tokens and from these tokens you'll have to add new and of course create a new op api token which will allow you to connect these two platform which are in our case Moodle and wordpress you will need another plugin on wordpress so you can do that which is wp api let me just search for it real quick wp api and if you didn't find it in this section you might find it also here it is so if you didn't find it here you might find it on the actual uh, official website of wordpress so wordpress api plugin and here we go this is the plugin click here and then you can click on download and all you have to do next is click on your plugin sections go to upload plugin choose a file and next thing is go ahead and click on this file then click on install now and it will be installed activated which is the next step and here you go so the next thing click on the plugin page and add here the api name uh, name i mean for example model unique id and the base url just like that you have created your new api but this is a too much steps to do what we can do instead of all of this is simply go to zapier which will like make this all in one click so first of all let's choose are we going to do an automation between model in model into uh, into our wordpress account or from our wordpress website into our model account so this is so important to know because they will show you different things for example here if i search for model and here for wordpress 
So the actions that are going to show by model are new course, new error student, and a course. And then don't do that for WordPress, you will have these things. If we did the reverse, which, uh, which is clicking here for WordPress and here for model, as you might notice, it is completely different. This is new, create new, create new, create new, and here you will only have to find a curse. So there is no other options. So you will have to decide from now which kind of zap are you going for, WordPress to model or model to WordPress. Now, after you have decided simply what you have to go for, click here. Let's say, for example, when uh, a new comment has been written, find a curse that has some kind of relation with this comment. So I'm going to try it. And here, this is the most important step. Make sure to log into your account. So sign in. And here, make sure to connect Zapier with your model account and with your own WordPress account. So as you can see here, allows appear to access your model account. What I'm going to do is simply click here and try to follow these steps until I have everything set up. So I'm going to model first. And here, I'm going to simply do these things. Go to the main page. I can go, for example, to here, profile, whatever you'd like. You can even download it, go to development. For me, I'm just going to search for plugin. Put the plugin directly. And here we go. So here, as we can follow these steps, so we will have to go to site administration. So enable site administration, we can go through it. So as you can see, I can click here once more site administration and here we go here we'll have to go as they mentioned to plugins so click in here to plugins and from this plugin section go ahead and click into web services so let's do that and sorry guys so alt f or control f web services and from here go ahead and search for overview so I'm going to click on website overview, as you may notice here, click on it, and then all you have to do next is just enable this web service, make it on, and then advanced features, turn it no, and then create manage tokens, and simply the next thing to do is put everything in here from your username, password, and then your website. Then click on yes, continue to model, and your accounts will be created. Then when it is successfully connected, this symbol will no longer be here, it will appear something like that. The same thing goes for your WordPress. Make sure to connect your WordPress dashboard, and guys, do not worry, your account is not going to be stolen or something like that. They don't really need that, so they can connect it. They can't like connect random stuff, so they really need those too. And I have tried this by myself, it is very working. Then you have to sign in, then they will try to make a test. A test is you go to your website, you try to do the same zap that you made, some automation, which is, for example, new comments, new model. So once you create a new comment, click here, it will try the test, they check if you have written new comments, they will detect that, and then click here and try to test, which is finding a course that the course that has a relationship with that comment. If they find it, they will both be good and have this good market uh, logo, and you will be ready to go and start using this trigger every time you'd like to. So yeah guys, that was completely it. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.